<laughs> Welcome in. Five minutes with Sean, maybe 10. Producer kicking off some fun back there. You know what you're going to do? What you going to do? So um, this week is, you know, we had some deep, some deep discussions over the last month. Um, this is deeper in a, in a different way. This is about our business, my friends. Um, we are entering into a stage of compression. Now, compression to me happens for various reasons. First, there are more cars than there has been in the last three years, probably on the ground. There are more incentives and aggressive behavior taking place back in the game, right? So there's that's two. Three, there are less consumers, dot, 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 that are qualified, dot, dot, dot. Why are they not qualified? Dot, dot, dot. dot, dot. They might be swinging in, in negative equity, too. <laughs> so we have a problem um, we've known about this problem for about as long as it's been going on here, uh, in the, we'll call it the COVID era, which is over now, right? We're like three years, whatever, four years, whatever it is. So we're, we're past the COVID era, but what I would, I would tend to tell people, there's like a, a wide kind of discussion right now about 2019. <laughs> um, and I, uh, I don't get the 2019 discussion. I don't get it. What do you, what, there's no going back. COVID changed the world we live in, in various ways and reasons. It did it. You can't reverse it. Now we move on. The man, dude, does anyone remember fucking eight months ago, 10 months ago, a year ago when manufacturers were still jibbing in John about going direct to, ma to consumer? Where's the last direct-to-consumer commercial I've been hearing about? What happened to buy at home? What the fuck? Come on, people. If you want to talk about 2019, talk about the fact that we're going back to all of the old ways, sure, but comparing your data, trying to say is it measurable here or there after what we've been dealing with, I suggest everyone for their own sanity get into a month-over-month -month comparison. Even a year ago, things were not as they look today. Look at your third-party data. Look at most of your sales data. And I'm not saying this in a negative way. I have a good majority of our clients. As a matter of fact, I rarely hear from, hear from my clients unless shit goes wrong, and I haven't heard from many of them. So I'm going to assume that a uh, vast majority are doing great. That's mainly because, A, that world controls costs as far as marketing is done, but, B, they're all really hardcore operators who are – extremely aggressive and know how to play the game and don't wait to play the game. So the game is here. That I get, 2019, fine. Comparing sales numbers, don't look at that. Comparing gross profits, look at your gross profits over the last six months. Probably here, maybe it's here, maybe it's here. Maybe it hasn't dropped that much, but it has for most. And again, remember the math now. We're back to it, right? If you want to sell more units, that gross profits... It's going to have to go down. It, it can't, you can't increase gross profit, sell more units. That was a COVID thing, right? So that's not a thing. You got to be able to come back. The, the, the car business for the 20 years previous to this that I had dealt with it looked a way, right? Looked a certain way. You saw it, you did it. That was it. So as far as, as far as what I mean by that with the way, the way that we're working into gross and units, you, you, you can sell 200 for 2000 or you could sell, 300 for a thousand, right? Whatever, however people work the math. Typically, you don't find people continually selling more units and more gross. Now it's possible. I think it comes down to how you take care of people. However, we are back in a race to the bottom situation already to some extent with, with a good number of manufacturers. But the manufacturers are back to putting rebates on cars. Some of them are. Some of them aren't selling cars, wondering why. Well, uh, mm, rebates and incentives, people, because what's the best way to unbury a customer from negative equity? Number one, rebates and incentives. Number two, leasing. Leasing. Find a way to lease cars. Subvented money rates are cool right now. Obviously, when rates are 6 7%, you can give away a car at zero. Fine, fine, fine. But what would be great for our industry is to get our leasing back under priority. 
That's what would be great. That's what would be the best thing for the consumer so that they could roll out of some negative equity in the next 39 months as opposed to being buried in it for the next four. There's opportunity throughout how we treat people buying cars off the streets probably a little bit harder these days because the cars are no longer, you know, appreciating assets as they have been for the last three years. Again, does anyone remember 2021, 2022, people were buying and flipping cars? Right, right. So it's just, we're, we're not there anymore. We live in a different world. Let's just be nimble. As I said a few weeks ago on the show, just be nimble and be ready to change at the drop of a hat. But I will tell you, make sure that you are paying attention to your processes. That's what I'm telling you right now. Processes, your people. Are, do you have the right people in the right places? Do you have the right pay plans? Do you have the right um, process for selling vehicles, turnovers, managers, reviews, CRM? That's what you need to be focused on right now. Don't go beating your budget. Don't go trying to spend more, spend less until you know for sure everything inside your sales department is dialed in super, super tight. That will do it for this week on the show. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again next week. 